Okay, so this this guy is literally wow. He was ready for me to pop out. Worked out though, but uh, let's make sure we've got the bolt caster on. I almost wish the terrain manipulator. Can I press like one, two, and three? No. Oh, that's obnoxious. Uh, are there any more? No. I guess the sentinels aren't coming for me either. Well, I guess let's pick. We want to go scientific research. The other thing is it keeps telling me to make the uh, the other life support thing, so I should probably check to see if I can do it. I can. We might as well. Okay. And then other than this, oh, we have a shield boost. I didn't realize I've been picking up so many, uh, so so many upgrades while we're out and about. All right, well, I'm gonna hop in my ship. And let's go find a monolith. Actually, this one's way close. It's like just over the hill, that's something. Yep, hi, Cra did crash, but that's okay. Let's see, he needs the circuit boards, and what else to make Artemis? I think it's really just the circuit boards that I need. But those might actually take some, um... Those might actually take some effort to make. Okay. So binary, I approach the monolith and prepare to insert the Corvex core within the dais. The structure looks as if it was made for such a moment. Insert the core. Error, error, Atlas, obey, Atlas, error, error, run, error, run, error, error. Life form identified, Corvax Echo. Purpose, servant to the traveler. Analysis, versimilitude failure, emotional breakdown, traveler infection, solution, terminate, insulate, insulate, protect, wipe. Rebooting, one, two, three. Also, we made a friend in all of that. Oh, good. I'm invincible while, while it's happening, though. Also, the monolith is offline, and son of a bitch, all that, all that loot just fell through the monolith. Well, that's okay. I'll live. And yes, I was being attacked, which does prove that there's no player model. Uh, at least normally there's no player model. There we go. I'm just gonna keep killing every drone that we run across. Because we have some very distinct reasons why we want to do them. One, free nanite clusters. Two, mission. Three, I can actually use some thamium. If we've got some. We've got like a smidge up here. Uh, that's pretty far away though. Not worth the walk. I don't like my planet much, but it does have a whole mess of thamium. Where's my ship? Somewhere over here. Well, I guess I'll just keep killing these guys. It would be nice if it was one of those planets where we actually just instantly go up to... Uh, to T3 alert. Would be nice. It doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, there's no pl uh, player model yet, which is why you never show up when the camera moves around. Some Someday I really hope they do actually add, like, a... A proper, like, player model that we can customize and see in cutscenes and otherwise. And main, mainly multiplayer. Let's see, scan plutonium for thamium. Yeah, still takes effort. I, I don't really need thamium that bad. So let's go back to the scientist and see what messed him up today. I like the fact that they redid the story for him. Slash, 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 slash. Priest Entity MES's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. I fear for what happened to the data core. Reinsert the core. Shell reconnection, Carapace Online. Ehew, greetings, unknown entity. I passed my test. Share in this joy via the exchange of technology. Circuit board. So we learn how to make it, which requires heat capacitor and polyfiber. Oof, pricey. How do you feel about structural analysis, stranger? 
The scientist has once again been reset, but without a connection to the Convergence, I fear they are doomed to repeat this cycle forever, from the moment they met me in the space station until they collapse into loneliness. Perhaps if I can find them a Convergence Cube, they might be unified with the rest of the Corvax and escape. The scientist deserves a chance at reconnection. They have helped me greatly, and they have taken good care of their beacon. Okay. Let's see if we can buy one. Unfortunately, I sold all of my Corvax Convergence Cubes like a schlub. No, nope. it looks like it just sells basic stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of like sack venom and stuff. I guess we can go up to space. Cause I have a I have a system up here. It says locate or purchase. Yeah. I'm gonna try purchasing. Now, if that doesn't work, I don't know. I guess we can locate it. I mean it's just gonna be randomly in a supply box, so there's always that. But yeah, it would be really nice if they actually added proper animations for a player and for... Oh right, I forgot my freighter's just here. But it would be really nice if they actually made the uh, the NPCs kind of more of a, a living, breathing thing. Just to... I don't know. Because like... I actually really like the lore and the setting for this game. It's kind of this dying universe galaxy. And you know, all the all of the races have kind of they're past their prime at this point and they're just kind of hanging on as the universe slowly dies. I'm like, I actually rather I rather like that. It's a neat setting, and it's got some, like, really nice visuals. The main problem is it just, it doesn't live. Everything is just a set piece. Hopefully they, they improve that. Eh, if they don't, I don't know. Anyway. Wait, this is a blueprint trader. What am I doing? Well, let's see what he's got. Already known, already known, already known, already known. balls. Okay, I guess let's just sell some of the crap I've picked up. Specifically, we don't need the selenium, we don't need the coprite, the mordite, the cactus flesh. Like, a lot of this stuff we will need later for farming, but uh, it should be fully grown by the time I'm done. Plus, I always carry a bunch of spares. I wonder if I can make a Corvax Convergence Cube. I don't think I can. I'll see if any of these guys have Corvax Converges Convergence Cubes for me. You! Sells Atlas Stones. I mean, it costs like half a billion, uh, a third of a million. How many Atlas Stones do I have? Oh, that son of a bitch, they wiped all of my Atlas Stones. I want to look this up. Do Atlas Stones have a use, or are they still garbage? Because it would be pretty funny if, if I could, like, just buy a whole mess of these. And find out that they're actually useful. Unfortunately, um... Unfortunately, since they wiped mine, there's got to be something else I do. 
with them. Okay. So it looks like it looks like uh it's still the same goal. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get them. Yeah, they were part of a mission. Yeah, the the standard path. All right, I'm not I'm not going to try and uh do anything with them. Let's see. So what can we buy from you? I'm hoping one of these guys has Corvax Convergence Cube so I don't have to go out looking. But it looks like I'm out of luck. Alright. Um, I'm gonna fly home? Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna fly home. We're gonna... We're gonna warp. And then warp again. Where's my... Unfortunately, finding my home base is a little bit harder now because I put that stupid beacon down. There it is. Because, yeah, it doesn't show up on my HUD. Uh, nearly as well. But yeah, let's let's head back. Let's, uh... Let's warp to the system that we'd been spit out to because we've got to get things. Well, I guess the other option is, uh... If I press P... Log. Know the stranger, so craft a mind arc. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so to make a mind arc, we need a circuit board. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna need star bulbs. So I'll have to progress the farmer. Good God, this is pricey. What just happened? Uh. Wait, where's my base? Is that my, is that my base? No, that's not my base. What the? I'm really confused. Did I miss? I must have missed. That's weird. I'm super confused. Music is damn good though. Is RNG better on this update? They more or less just took away the RNG. Now you can uh, do specific missions for pretty much everything. Okay, let's go see if the... Uh... Let's go recollect every crop that we've got. I should actually probably hoard it. Because, yeah, we want to... I might have to withdraw some. Turns out the fr frost crystal grows a bit faster than everything else. Well, that's okay. I got I got bunches of spares. Okay, so we just need solarium from one of these. Technically, I need cactus flesh, solarium, so on and so forth. I think I'm gonna focus on the farmer for a bit. Um, because I I think if I don't, I might actually use up some resources that we kind of desperately need. Oh, please tell me I have a stock of solarium somewhere. There it is. Because, yeah, if I can have everything growing on my, my ship, then we... Or, my ship, my base. Then I can get the rest of this stuff working. You. Uh, is it... Is it grown? Is it growing? We need some more Thamium. We got some... I guess we reliably have some up here. I'm just gonna kill these guys. Might as well fight Sentinels whenever we go... When it, when, eh, whenever we go by. I don't know if the quest is broken or if we actually have to wait for something to grow once. A little bit worried about it being the other... Uh, one way versus the other. I'll just see if I can grow a second one. Because that would save me the most amount of work, but... 
Yeah, it says planted in the hydroponics bay. All right. Is that enough? Yeah, there we go. Return to farmer. I guess we just had to get the resources first. You've successfully cultivated solar vine, yes? I can smell its heat from here. It's incandescent splendor. Wonderful. Save this moment, friend. For now, I lead you into a more dangerous realm of botanical study. Okay, so fungal cluster. We still need more thamium. Fungal clusters are cultivated within toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much, yes? Be careful as you work, friend. Clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucination if improperly handled. Extended exposure is ill-advised. Prospector Oka wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow fungal clusters. Sure. Okay, let's go make some more space drugs for Buddy Boy here. Alright, that should be enough. Return to Farber. Ah, you were finished then. Let me see those fungal clusters of yours. It's been such a long time. I feel like this guy's just an extreme drug addict. You learn quickly, Traveler. Now that you've mastered some of the more dangerous flora, let's go one step further. Gamma weed. Alright, so I gotta go get my gamma root and more thamium. The Geck lost our homes, our cities, our identity in the last great war. Traveler. World upon world, bombarded by atomic strike. All that grows on the world's of old are warped things, deadly to touch, screaming with memory of what once was. One such crop is gamma weed. We shall cultivate, cultivate it here. Let us leave the fighting to others, friend. We shall grow things instead. Prospector Oka wishes for me to cultivate the gamma weed using the hydroponics tray. Sure. I wait the results with anticipation, Traveler. Now please forgive me. I have not been able to sleep recently. I must get some rest. Alright. Yeah, I've got plutonium up the wazoo here. Let's see if we can find some immediately available. The answer, ah. Alternatively, we just have some thamium growing closest. I really wish I could actually grow thamium. It saddens me that I can't. Okay, so yeah, let's just get a whole bunch of Thamium and let's go back. Because I, I can just grab the Gamma Weed and toss it in. Uh, so we're kind of on the back end of everywhere. Yeah, at some point I'll, I'll switch things around because I've got a... I've got this sucker, the Galactic Trade Terminal, which we need for stuff. But it's also blocking the main entrance to places. Okay, so let's put away all the Solarium. I think we only ended up spending, what, about 50 of it? Awesome. And yeah, let's, let's go grow some gamma weed. Because if we're lucky, we can get most of the uh, farming quests done quick, and then we don't have to worry about any resources going away. Apparently, I don't even have to power this. I can just, uh, I can just plop it in. Well, that feels a bit weird. Are the gamma weed cuttings ready? They require delicate care in spite of their chaotic origins. Or perhaps because of them. Who knows? Show me your successes. Gamma root. Ah, I will be able to make such fine dishes with this plant. It's a pity that you are unable to gorge on this radioactive treasure traveler. But perhaps I may offer an alternative. We will state your hunger with beauty rather than food. Okay, so Gravitino Host. And album and pearls and stuff. We shall cultivate a crop of Gravitino Hosts. I'll be happy to tell you the history of this flora, should you wish it. My stories and theories seem to bore other Gek, friend. I suppose I am the closest to the Corvax in my wish to study, but even then, those machines lack all sense of surprise, all passionate wonder. I must confess that I frequently feel lonely. Prospector Oka wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow Gravitino hosts. Many believe that Gravitino hosts cannot be cultivated through artificial means, but I know they are wrong, friend. You will reap the benefits of my experimentation. Alright, so need more thamium. Need a whole bunch. Actually...
extra craft out of range. Ah, false. I guess I'll just go with the plutonium. I should be able to get what I need from these anyway. Yeah, we're gonna be making a friend. Hi, friend. Die, friend. Where's the other one? There you are. I wish you'd actually see them warp in. That'd be a... That'd actually be like a really cool effect. I'll just load up on plutonium and hopefully get thamium in the process. I mean, see the vast... Uh, vast this? Or, man, I don't even know what. Whatever. Let's just mine all the uh, plutonium we possibly can. Maybe some more thamium will show up. I miss the old planet. There's one planet I went to once that was just nothing but thamium. It was like fields of this stuff. It was awesome. Oh well. Okay, so how much do I have? I will make a note. Ugh, I've only got 74. I will specifically make a note to uh, hoard, like, make a hoard of this stuff. Like, a couple hundred? I think so what are these? Oh, gamma weed. Not, th not that I care. I really wish I could farm thamium. I guess the other thing I could do is actually go up into space. Yeah, you know what? I might actually go into space. Spache. Uh. I oh, there's some thamium there. Good. I think I might go up into space and just go after some of the asteroids up there. Because I think, uh... I learned the word for white. Sweet! Now we can be racist against other Corvex. No. That's a terrible pun. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So we got plutonium plenty. There we go. I think I'll just summon my ship here. We've got plutonium. We've got so much plutonium, so I don't really have to worry about it. Okay, there we go. Uh, but, but, t, 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 t. What's the, like, most awkward angle I can summon my ship on? I guess not many of them. Why would I say that? I don't know. I'm really tired. I Just the idea of learning the word white in this game seems so bizarre to me. Uh, like, joking aside, like, what use would would we have for that? I don't know. Because, like, uh... I, I don't think I'm specifically going to ever need need to know the word white for any reason. Fortunately, the phase beam... I guess it doesn't overheat quickly, but it requires reloads. Unfortunately, is all this stuff just iron? To describe something. I guess, but like, this game has a limited, uh, limited vocabulary. Like, extremely limited vocabulary. Uh, like, only about four or five hundred words per. So the idea specifically of, uh, using one of those for uh, a specific color feels weird to me. I, I'm sure it will probably come up at some point, but, uh, it just seems odd. You'd think they'd have, it's like having the word for ehu, or the word... Shoot, there's some really odd words that we've picked up, and I, I can't help but question them more than a little bit. Also, the idea of Corvax being a hive mind, being racist against other Cor Corvax is actually super amusing to me. Because... Hive mind. I don't know. That would be... Racism doesn't make sense. It's, like, the stupidest thing ever. But the idea of, like, a hive mind that literally has, like, a communal, like, thought pool. Memory pool? Because it seems like they have personalities separate, but they share a lot of stuff together. Uh, but the idea of reading, like, a, a book or something where, where a hive mind is, like, turned against itself uh, would be really amusing.
I don't know. I, I, I went to a middle school that had a lot of problems with racism. I think I've always kind of come away from, like, the observer standpoint, and I always thought it was more of this kind of silly thing that uh, only silly people engaged in. And then I, you know, grew up and everybody started, like, becoming serious about race relations and whatnot. And I'm like, wait, this wasn't a joke? Like... This wasn't just, like, a petty rivalry for some stupid, uh, melatonin concentration. And, yeah, no, it's actually, like, a legit thing, and I I have, uh, racist relatives that say some pretty tasteless things on, on Facebook, and I'm just like, Okay, gonna block you from Facebook. I don't know. I think political views and any kind of view that's just like detracts from another person always is just super unfortunate. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of Thamium. That should help. Admittedly, I'm burning through it just to recharge my guns. Not better. But yeah, it's also something I don't like to talk about apart from the occasional terrible joke. Because, like, there are some weird people out there that really believe in this stuff. I just like playing video games, man. And I guess if my video game is, like, heavily based around racism against elves and dwarves and stuff, I'll get into it. But, well, I mean, I guess this game has some kind of, like, underlying tones, because everybody seems to hate the Corvax. Because they might be associated with the Sentinels, because machines, rah, rah, rah. I don't know. Wow, we've already burnt through half of my phase beams. Really wish there was like a, a grinder ship that I could get. Something big that could just chew through asteroids. Instead of me having to like individually shoot them one by one. Can you be a racist against robots though? Absolutely. There are tons of movies specifically about that. I mean, it's not exactly... Uh, it, technically, if you want to say ra uh, it's not racist because they're not a race, sure, but that's... That's, like, ultra-semantics. What's in this here asteroid thing? Ah, it's nickel. Probably don't care too much about nickel. But, like, uh... I mean, Fallout 4 more or less deals with some amount of that. They never really got into it uh, nearly as much as that trailer would imply. Like, uh, I went into Fallout 4 thinking Fallout 4 was going to be about, like, helping the, uh... Helping the the synths kind of make their place in the commonwealth and, you know, not be, uh, not be this, like, oppressed minority and hunted for, you know, just existing and stuff like that. Nope. Pretty much had nothing to do with that. Much to my general disappointment. Have I actually gained no Thamium from this? Yeah, I've only got 177. I... Good God, this thing is expensive. To recharge. If it used iron, I'd be okay. I guess I'll just have to hold up on a bunch. But yeah, I don't know. I... I really want to play a game like that, actually, where... I... This is... This is a common trope, uh... With, like, the rise of artificial intelligence and stuff. That once, like, robots start becoming truly sentient, they want their own, like, rights. And then everybody becomes super racist about them. I actually, like... Or, super racist against them. I actually really would like to, uh, experience more media, media that deals with that, because that is something, uh, that I find absolutely fascinating and very rarely and adequately handled. Because then you can also have kind of like Adam Jensen style characters who are like kind of the midpoint and sympathetic to both. I guess that's actually kind of supposed to be the point of Deus Ex, but they never, I don't know, it never really felt like they got into it as much as they could have. Whereas like, I know uh, the Mega Man games, Mega Man X specifically, uh, had some undertones for that. Like that the Reploids were, were going to go off and make their own society and stuff like that. But they kind of glossed over it in favor of Ra Ra Sig Sigma's an evil bastard. And I'm like, no, like, screw Sigma. Stop making him the villain for every single goddamn Mega Man game. And focus something a little bit more on, like, actual world building. Because 
The Mega Man, Mega Man games actually had kind of an interesting setting that was never touched upon. Really? We saw beyond these walls, we saw a world of death. We can take you there, should you not please us. Nah, fuck you guys. Miscalculation, Corvax will ensure your last. Alright, so I got my photon cannon out, and this is a well-armed ship. My shielding increases. I like the fact that based on kills, we get uh, shield shield drops now. That bit's kind of nice. Oh, is that it? Are we done? Awesome. Did I hear about the AI that defeated, learned how to play Dota 2 and defeated the esports player? Yeah, I did hear about that. I actually thought that was really cool. I mean, technically, the idea of um, AI is still terrifying because, like, if handled, mis if mishandled. Uh, we could go pure Skynet, but at the same time, like, it is cool to see, uh, like, AI kind of taking over. Because, potentially, uh, if we can, if we can do it right, we can more or less send Earth into this kind of, like, post-labor uh, golden age of, like, you know, technolo uh, technological advancement in art. Uh... Or it could put us into kind of one of those situations where everybody's just a corporate drone and effectively Neuromancer becomes reality. Oh good, now we've got a bunch of Thamium. Uh, let's go land. I've got everything that I could possibly need. Actually, uh, speaking of, uh, the game I'm gonna be playing in, I don't know, probably an hour? Observer seems to deal with this, because it's, uh, it looks to be based kind of on Neuromancer and has, like, uh, robots and whatnot and AI, I think. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I just want to play a bunch of No Man's Sky. I don't know. No Man's Sky is just super satisfying. feel like it'll be more like Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell is... is awful, though. I don't know if you've ever, like, looked into it, but the, uh... The, like, core plot for Ghost in the Shell, like, the background is kind of terrible. I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. I'd love to, I'd love to see a, a series based in the uh, Ghost in the Shell universe that doesn't deal with, you know, the, uh, was it Section 9? Section 8? Sec, whatever section they're in. I, I don't remember what section they are. Okay. We want to go over here. Okay, uh... Sue so wants to talk about the Gravitina host. That is a lot, actually. Which we don't care about. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Anyway, Gravitino host. Yes. Okay, I've got to go get a Gravitino host. Do I actually have one? Okay, it was Section 9. Was the Section 9 a... Uh... I thought Section 9 was a video game. Two. Or is that a... Is that Sector 9? No, I want to say it was Section 9. Okay, so we might actually have to wait for the Gravitino Ball. Now that I'm looking at it. Because, yeah, I don't think I... I don't think I have a spare. Might be able to buy one? But I think I got rid of them all. Unless I... Uh, unless I stowed one of them away in a weird location. Ah, Section 8 was a video game. Eh. Can you, can you understand my confusion in this? Okay, I don't think I got any Gravitino balls just lying around. I might have saved one. Because I might have needed them for farming originally. Like a whole bunch of Heridium and stuff. Yeah, no Gravitino balls. Let's put away all of the Gamma Root. I gotta get some more Star Bulbs. Well, um, seeing as we're gonna have to wait for the Gravitino host to farm, I should probably go par power that up, actually.
Because, yeah, it'll be a pretty sad day if I don't actually, like, fill this thing out. Yeesh. Carbon is expensive. Unfortunately, the real-time growth rate on these things, it says 60 minutes. At some point, I might make just an insanely large farm complex that just generates stupid amounts of money from album and pearls. Okay, so we want to go... Right, we want to go through my portal. How's my inventory doing? It's okay. Yeah, we want to go looking uh, for caches, so I might as well just explore... Um, well, I'm there. We might also be able to buy stuff, too. Oh, did my stream glitch out again? Oh, looks like it looks like it did for like a half second. Oh, that's okay. 